basically we are the best people to buy this property. Oh, you heard it. As the lady says. <laughs> I have felt that since day one, since I first saw it. We're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since. And are now searching for a place to call home here in Portugal. Subscribe and join the ride. In our last episode, our property hunt took an unexpected turn, back to the very first property we ever looked at over a year ago. Do you imagine transforming this place? <sighs> what a great first property to start with. I still love it so much. And despite our efforts to find something a little bit simpler in any way to purchase and renovate. It is huge up here. Wow. We've tried to look at other properties. We've tried to forget about it. But dreams and visions of our water mill were too strong and too clear to deny. Are you saying that you would still buy it? Because I'm okay with that. I seriously am. So, in today's episode, we try and get to the bottom of some of the major questions and bureaucratic unknowns that have kept us from making an offer for so long. Yeah, hi, is this Eric? Yeah, this is Drew. Yeah, we have a last minute meeting with the Camara on this upcoming Monday at 10 a.m. And we don't currently have a architect for this project that we really love. It's a watermill in the area that we've looked at last fall, but we're not sure if we can get the approvals to get the building permit reinstated and... Basically, the building permits were pulled mid-construction in 2016 when inspectors discovered that he had made a few creative deviations from the original plan. So, before making the decision to purchase... There are a few concerns though, I know. We would need an architect to help us get confirmation from the city hall about whether or not we would even be allowed to complete the project of transforming this historic mill into a a home for the very first time. Welcome. We are wondering if you have availability for that time because we're really looking at putting an offer in. Merci pour votre, votre merci à, à vous. Me, merci. Oui, merci beaucoup. Okay. Okay, okay. à tout à l'heure. See, see you Monday. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Yep. Ciao. I love how many people speak French here. That really did, helps. Did you just turn that whole thing around and you made him available for that meeting? Wow. Doors are opening. Oh, this is a good feeling. Mm. It's been a year in the making. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's been a lot of patience, a lot of questions. A lot of properties. A lot of prayers. Back to the first one we saw. Wow, guys. Some of you have told us through and through that when you see the place that has felt so right, it would be meant to be. So here we are. We just didn't think it would be the first one we saw. And that we've got to meet the neighboring plot owner, which opened a whole new spectrum Set of, of ideas. Solutions. Yeah. It's, yeah. Best possible outcomes. Just to fill you in on what I've been doing while Drew has been making all of these amazing phone calls that seem to just be rolling one after the next as if we're in flow. So I'm just gonna say it feels right. And here is the little editing studio that we've set up for me in the back here so that we can continue sharing this unpredictable and beautiful story with you. And a hot story, hence the air conditioner. But Drew wants me to film him right now. Lemonade saving the day. <laughs> One day it'll be from our own lemon tree. We're getting very excited, but something else that Drew is about to figure out for us is about our visa, because we're actually supposed to be flying back to the States in two weeks. But something that we just learned is that because of COVID, they instated some new policy that visas are extended out until 2023. And we don't really know what that means. So Drew has a phone call with somebody who's going to explain that to us, which means we could stay and pursue the water mill and maybe even sign a promissory agreement or make an offer make an offer dare we say it it feels surreal but it feels like really i feel very grounded and very present when i say that i feel very alive i do have to say for Brittany and i it is an absolute roller coaster and it's hard not to get our hopes up too high sometimes and get like really amped and excited or stoked that this is going to happen because yeah. we just we don't know, there's a lot of questions. We need some more green lights. My dad goes, so what's the deal with the Moulin Rouge? The Moulin Rouge. I'm like, it's the Moulin roller coaster. Yeah. But one thing that's helping us keep our head on straight and our hormones balanced and our energy strong is 
AG1, baby. The good stuff. Once a day, every day, it's a part of our daily routine that just really we look forward to. <laughs> yeah, I think it just makes us overall rejuvenate and recover from some of our fitness activities, just lets us carry on with life and feeling good, healthy, and strong. AG1 is the simplest, most straightforward way that we have found to get our basis of important vitamins, minerals, and probiotics without needing to lug around a bunch of bottles and supplements that end up being way too inconvenient to stick with. But AG1 is as simple as one scoop or one packet a day. It's like a salad blended into a cup. <laughs> That's right. And we want you guys to try it so that you can live your best, strongest life and pursue your dreams, keep your thoughts positive and your body healthy. So by using our link below, you guys get a full year supply of vitamin D and five bonus travel packs. They're great for taking on all of our adventures. So join us. We can cheers to the water mill together. Clink. Fingers crossed. I also want to say that you guys are amazing. This community has been supporting us along this journey and like right now, many of these meetings, these phone calls, these answers to these questions that have just been holding us back, making us really uncertain about how to move forward. You guys have been the greatest part of us moving forward into the future and beyond. We feel very blessed to have you all in our community. It's really unreal to try and process. If you guys have been subscribed to our channel for years from the beginning. You guys have seen us change and grow so much and now you've seen our entire lives transform to the water mill and beyond. Whatever's meant to be, right? Let's begin. Tell me again, I know your situation and we were talking about the extension of the tourist visa. Yes, correct. Right now we are on the Schengen visa. And you want an extension uh, because you want to stay more time to choose the property and see which location you would like to yes. stay in? Yes, exactly. Is it easy to get an extension? At the moment, it is not easy to get any visa extension because your type of legal process visa extension will require a phone call to schedule the appointment and phone call is difficult. Okay. Assuming you can get a phone call, someone from the call center to pick up the phone and talk to you, they will not have appointments because June 16th, the government approved a law that extended again the duration, the validity of the visas till the end of the year. Our plan, the reason we were looking to leave was to go back to apply for the D7 visa because we felt like it was mm -hmm. better to do that sooner than later. Sooner than later for what reason? That way we can start the five-year program to get citizenship. Okay. We were just trying um, to see yeah, because yeah. we're coming close to potentially purchasing a property and if we needed mm -hmm. to stay around to sign some of the documents and etc. The law allows you to stay legally until the end of the year. That, okay. That's the grounds you work with at the moment. Okay. And I will send you the law I'm speaking um, about because it will give you comfort. Yes. Uh, when I explain about wanting to complete the D7, does it matter if my wife and I share a bank account? Will that matter for applying individually, but we're both individually on kind it? Kind of, yes. Okay. If there was enough money in there, though, to show that we can sustain ourselves each individually, that would probably look better. It needs because if it's one account that's going to sustain two different applications for the D7, you need to have enough money for your wife, Brittany, and for you, Drew. The amount, do I have it right, about 8,000 euros per person? 8,000, we usually request clients to transfer a little bit more money. Okay. If you can increase a little bit, it would be better. I think you answered my questions. Basically, I just wanted to know if it was worth, if it was possible to stay, which based on the law, in that document you'll send, it is, but at the same time mm -hmm. would be beneficial to get the D7 moving along quicker than waiting. Muito okay. prazer. Okay. Good, good accent. We can speak in Portuguese if you prefer. No, no, I don't think I'm that good yet. <laughs> one day, one okay. day. That was extremely helpful. There was so much insight given. We talked to an expert. It made me realize from our conversation that Brittany and I should be applying for the D7 as individuals, not as a married couple. I think we'll be all set to apply here. And instead of applying for an extension on our 90 day visa, which we're currently on, it makes a lot of sense that we go back and apply for the D7 visa. <sighs> a lot of paperwork ahead, but we'll get there very, very soon. Thank you, Mafalda.
What is happening down here? Chopstick surgery. I think I just pushed our batteries down a hole. Uh, I don't know. We went around a corner and the little basket and the battery chargers went flipping and flopping and ended up on the floor. Little did we know it at the time, there's a small crack between the floor and the front part of the van and they slipped down through that crack and my fingers are way too big to try to reach down in there. So Brittany's having a shot at it. There should be two down there. This may be our only hope. I don't know. Is that some sticky tape? Sticky enough, I hope. You gotta get just the right angle. You're doing great, babe. You're doing great. I feel like a dentist. Feeling a little bit defeated right now, but those batteries are so important to us. We can't just order them on Amazon. We can't just buy them anywhere. They're our lifeblood to our camera, our baby. It's what keeps our baby alive. <laughs> it's how we can share our lives with you. But we're bringing out the big guns. We got the screwdrivers and the drill. We're gonna see if we remove these two screws, if we're able to remove this little floorboard thing here. Surgery on <laughs> this cutie boo. Sometimes I feel like our family and friends think that we just hang out in a hammock, reading all day long, living the Instagram picture perfect van life, when in reality we're either editing, formulating a plan for moving forward, sourcing water, looking at properties, finding a place to sleep, trying to get our batteries out from under our floorboard. I don't think anybody's loosened these screws in years. They're like really tight into the floor. The list of van life chores goes on and on. Do we have good news? It doesn't feel like this lifts off. It feels like it's glued together. I was hoping we could just lift this floorboard off. It's this whole piece here that goes underneath the bench. Well built, but poor design. Maybe we can just make a little hole like the Alaskan ice fishers. All right, I got this loose. I found a lot of little screws, a pen cap. Batteries? A wine top. Hold on, hold on. Please, please. Come on, I might need a smaller hand. I got one. <gasps> Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is wonderful. You're up to bat. It's amazing how much you can rely on such a small thing. Am I just another small thing we're counting on? <laughs> You're gonna have to reach all the way under the floorboard, like from that corner. Ooh, it's like hairy in there. Here, it's down there. Oh, no spiders, please. Ah, there's like things. Show me your glove. <laughs> I can do anything now. <laughs> I feel like you're getting close. I have the battery. You have the battery. <laughs> you got it. Oh, incredible. Babe. And the tape. <laughs> <sighs> I'd say the effort's paid off. It always does. On to other things. You know what? Having a small person with me definitely makes finding little batteries possible. <laughs> Now that we have our two batteries back, we can charge them properly. Reunited. In the midst of everything that's been going on, I've been trying to book a little Airbnb here for our last few nights in Portugal when we'll be in Lisbon before catching our flights back to the US. And in the midst of doing so, I got a little bit distracted by some of the properties on Airbnb. This one in particular, over $3,000 a night. That is not what we are looking to book. It's in the UK, but this place is incredible. I'm not sure if these flowers are real for that price, they might be real, but it looks like Barbie's dream house life size slash Elvis Presley's jungle room exploded into a giant <laughs> mansion. What is that? It's butterflies and firemen. Is that the ladies version of the boom boom room? <laughs> totally. A sparkle room. Okay, we're gonna end it there because that's just, that's just too much. It's that time. We're gonna get out of here. We have had a wonderful few days of productivity here at this campground. Our batteries are charged on our camper and for our camera, if you remember that. But we've been so close to the beach, I can almost smell it. So to the beach we go, and then we're gonna go look at a property that is very similar to the land surrounding our water mill. I would try to buy this patch of land. Uh, okay. okay, because the water mill alone is a very small and oddly shaped property. But we think that there's something to learn from this other property that is very similar but better priced. So that's where we're going, to the mountains, but first to the beach. See you later. Adios. Peace. Onwards. To the beach. 
a la playa. Can you hear that? Stop! <laughs> the sweet, sweet smell of the salty ocean air. And lots of other smells. Especially with you around. <laughs> Does anybody remember doing that as a kid, as a grade schooler? Oh, lots of good laughs. Gotta have fun as an adult too. That's right. That's why we're going to the beach. Although our watermill property isn't right on the beach, we're thrilled to know that some of our very favorite beaches are just six miles away. So the property that we're headed to, here's a little brief description. Two registered ruins which can be rebuilt. The process of applying for the license to rebuild is in an advanced stage and is led by a local architect. The land size is 2.3 hectares, so quite large. Has 80 meters of elevation from the stream that's down low to the top of the hill, so roughly 240 feet. It's a very fertile area down by the stream. They've added a small UV treatment so that you can have beautiful, cool, and clean drinking water, which is something that we find so important at any of the properties we look for because water is essential to life. The original owner of this property has to return back home to Ireland for, I think it's financial reasons. But what's interesting is that we noticed this morning that they dropped the property price from 85,000 euros to 75,000 euros. And the cost of the property that we're looking to purchase surrounding the water mill is very comparable in size. Also has a habitable ruin on it, but the guy is asking for a little bit more money. So we're like, maybe this will help us in our explanation as as to why we would like to offer him a little bit less. Or maybe we're gonna fall in love with this land. You never know. Let's go. Gotta wait for the little old man. Follow that guy. <laughs> to the mountains. To the hills. Look how narrow this is. Oh, this is tight. This is a normal, busy road. <laughs> it's crazy. Always had adventure driving. We're alongside a beautiful, lush, orange orchard. <laughs> nice and tight. Yeah, right away. We are one minute away. Actually, that's it right there. So those are the ruins that come with the property, as well as the terraced land up to the hilltop. With two containers, I think. We're here. This is container number one, just to help store some things. Bits and pieces more yeah. solar, the solar on the top. Okay. There's batteries here, you know. Well, Drew gets a little tour inside of the tool shed. I'm going to show you guys. This is one of the ruins here on my right. The second ruin over here. And then another little container that I believe he's been living in. And so this property includes this whole hillside along with the property on the other side which used to have a flowing stream and a well which he said he only dug two meters deep and he would have dug it deeper because now there's no more water let's see uh, hi you can see water still water in it but very very little yeah each ring is a half meter so it was a good one and a half meters higher yeah yeah, yeah. I actually even fell into that well once. No! no. Yeah, yeah. My younger daughter was here. <laughs> what were we doing? Ah, yeah, I was trying to um, skim off the top, you know, just to get it clean. Yeah. The legs broke off and I, you know. Just straight down <laughs> it. I no, no. And of course, no way of getting out. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, but my daughter was on the top. I would never go in there on my own. I mean, yeah. it's just crazy, right. you know? Like, yeah, yeah. And there used to be an abundant stream down here. The fact that our watermill property still has water running during this dry, dry year is a really good sign. I like to think that that means that it would always have water. Sad to see though, properties like this that gave people so much hope and so much promise when there was water running and streams aflow left to dry and kind of crumble, crumbled their dreams. I wish we could buy up everybody's property in a way and help rebuild and save all of their visions. But we can't do that. Basically, this is full of water from December until about June. Wow. But now we've even seen feet of water in there. Oh, yeah, it was definitely, yeah. No, that's, why, that's why I love this place, because yeah. it's that running water, you know? Yeah. Let's go back to the other half of the property now. He's got a whole solar system on the roof, and it's got 500 watts. It's a large system. Oh, yeah. wow. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, yeah. So the idea with the architect, what we, what we worked on before I ran out of money, was to uh, take down this wall, take that down. Okay. 
uh, continue these two walls okay. there uh, out to about here into the other one. Continue that wall here all the way, right? Okay. So this is closed off, yeah, yeah. right? And have actually here the real space. The, whole, the real. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's nice and small the front and move this one maybe down, okay. you know, when this is leveled off. Yeah, yeah. And have pergola over there, you It'd know. Be really beautiful. Have it, you know, kind of yeah. looking nice. And that move this all the way. There's a roadway all the way to the top. This is my shower. There's my compost toilet. We're now on the third level of the terraces. I haven't been to the end. It's kind of scary going that far. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. somebody, at least one other person with you, yeah. yeah. The water mine. Uh, so you need your welly boots. And yeah. This is the neighbor's room. Um, Oh, hello, welcome guys. To the gecko. Yeah, a couple of geckos. It's a mystery. How did they get in? I haven't <laughs> seen them. This. The window. Ah, I left the window open. <laughs> it's a beautiful drive, actually. It's amazing. You can see yes. Portimao yeah. and all, you know, all the coastline okay. there. It's a fantastic drive. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. I had such a fun time meeting Dee. What a sweetheart. He was from Ireland and he had a great vision for I, his property. I loved his accent. Me too. It was so fun just listening to him. I think that's one of our favorite things about being in Europe is just people from all different walks of life and backgrounds and cultures and their accents and foreign languages. And their dreams. <laughs> it's beautiful. But we let him know that we are particularly interested in another property, the water mill, just in case he missed it. We're just waiting to see what the camera or city hall has to say about the permitting on our vision. Big moment. <laughs> A very big day. I'm exhausted. We just returned from our meeting with the camera and to be honest, it went better than I expected. It went well. At first it was a little cold, but the lady really warmed up to us. We practiced our best Portuguese and won her over. They pulled out a book that was, I kid you not, three, four inches thick with like all the plans from the past, a lot of signatures, just everything that's went on with this project from day one. And we went in prepared. We had what we knew as far as the legalizations yeah. and the original plan that was approved. And it seems to be possible yeah. to have the plan reinstated. Dated. Yeah. Sorry, we're parked on the side of the road if you are noticing. But I am absolutely stoked that we got the answers to the questions that we have deeply been longing for. We got them straight from the source. Basically, we are the best people to buy this property. Oh, you heard it. <laughs> As the lady says. I have felt that since day one, since I first saw it. Anyway. It okay. feels like the right fit. It does. And it feels like today went as we, as well as it possibly could yeah. we found out the answers and the best possible outcome the best possible outcome and thank you to our good friend <laughs> aldina and her husband yes. for helping us secure oh. a meeting today that was just such a blessing one of you guys who watches our episodes that really just took the bull by the horns and helped us out to get this something we otherwise wouldn't have known how to do so thank as you. well as gave us a contact for an architect who Abrigado. speaks french which is yeah. Anyway, alignment, it's all happening onwards, onwards and upwards <sighs> till the next update. Let's breathe it in. There's a lot of goodness. I wish we didn't have to leave for our visas. But we're going to make this work. Okay. Okay. Adios. <laughs> ah! And keep that water mill chant going. Water mill, water mill. Water milk, water milk. There's magic in that. <laughs> I have been manifesting this. It's been in the intro of every single one of our videos since we first saw it. So, I don't know. I have a good feeling. See you soon. We love you guys. Be sure to subscribe and tune in to our next episode where hopefully we have even more exciting updates on our beloved water mill. What a journey. Definitely testing our patience and... Well, yeah, mostly our patients and a few other things, I suppose. But what can we say? We do love ourselves a challenge and a dream turned into reality. And you guys are just another one of those dreams. You're the best. See you back here soon.